In Hollywood's dazzling world, where the spotlight never dims, some stars shine for more than just their talent. They're remembered for their unbeatable spirit, facing challenges head-on that would make others step back. Today, we're diving into the stories of the 10 toughest actresses in Hollywood history. These are women who didn't just play roles. They lived through battles, broke down walls, and stood tall against the storms of both their careers and personal lives. From the silent film era to today's blockbusters, these actresses have smashed stereotypes, demanded equal pay, and navigated the tricky currents of fame, all while delivering unforgettable performances. Their stories aren't just about personal wins, they reflect the larger fight of women in Hollywood. Each story shines a light on their resilience, whether it's taking on groundbreaking roles, fighting off-screen battles, or simply never giving up, no matter how many doors were slammed in their face. The Trailblazer, Katharine Hepburn. In the early 20th century, a time when Hollywood's glittering facade was firmly upheld by rigid norms and gender roles, Katharine Hepburn emerged as a force of nature challenging the status quo with her fierce independence and unparalleled talent. Born on May 12, 1907 in Hartford, Connecticut, Hepburn was no stranger to controversy and defiance from a young age, traits that would come to define her both on and off the screen. Hepburn's entry into the world of acting was marked by her unmistakable presence and sharp wit, qualities that initially did not endear her to the Hollywood elite. Her early career was a roller coaster of highs and lows, with her first major film role in A Bill of Divorcement, 1932, showcasing her natural talent. But it was her off-screen persona that truly set her apart. Despite facing criticism for her unconventional ways and suffering through a series of commercial failures that led to her being labeled box office poison, Hepburn's resilience never wavered. In 1938, she took an unprecedented risk that would change the course of her career. Hepburn decided to buy out her contract with RKO Radio Pictures and headed back to Broadway to star in The Philadelphia Story. The play was a tremendous success, and Hepburn's performance was so captivating that she quickly sold the film rights to MGM on the condition that she would be the star. The film adaptation in 1940 was a box office hit revitalizing her career and cementing her status as one of Hollywood's leading ladies. Over the years, Hepburn amassed a total of four Academy Awards for Best Actress, a record that still stands today. Her roles in classics such as Morning Glory, 1933, Guess Who's Coming to Dinner, 1967, The Lion in Winter, 1968, and On Golden Pond, 1981, showcased not only her versatility as an actress, but also her ability to bring depth and nuance to every character she portrayed. The Fighter, Bette Davis. Born as Ruth Elizabeth Davis on April 5, 1908, in Lowell, Massachusetts, was a force to be reckoned with in Hollywood. Her career spanned over six decades, during which she delivered some of cinema's most unforgettable performances. Davis was not just an actress, she was a fighter, both on and off the screen, challenging the Hollywood studio system at a time when it was almost unthinkable to do so. Davis's battle began in earnest in the 1930s, when she found herself dissatisfied with the roles she was being offered by Warner Brothers. She was not one to sit quietly and accept the status quo. In 1936, Davis took an unprecedented step by taking Warner Brothers to court in an attempt to break her contract, citing the poor quality of the roles being offered to her. Although she lost the lawsuit, her bold move sent shockwaves through the industry and marked a turning point in her career. It was a declaration of her unwillingness to compromise on the quality of her work. Her tenacity paid off. Davis went on to win two Academy Awards for Best Actress for her roles in Dangerous, 1935, and Jezebel, 1938. These films showcased her ability to portray complex, strong-willed women, setting a new standard for actresses in Hollywood. Davis's performances were marked by her intense preparation and commitment to her characters, earning her a reputation as one of the most dedicated and talented actresses of her time. 
Beyond her battles with studio executives, Davis was known for her fierce personality and sharp wit. She was a trailblazer in an industry that often marginalized women, demanding respect and equal treatment in an era when such demands were often met with resistance. Davis's influence extended beyond her own career. She was a co-founder of the Hollywood Canteen during World War II, a club offering entertainment and hospitality to servicemen. She also became the first female president of the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences in 1941, although her tenure was short-lived due to opposition from industry insiders. Davis's personal life was as tumultuous as her career. She was married four times and had a highly publicized feud with her daughter, B.D. Hyman, who published a tell-all book about Davis. Despite these challenges, Davis never lost her passion for acting, continuing to work in film, television, and theater until her health began to decline. Bette Davis passed away on October 6, 1989, but her reputation as a fighter, an innovator, and one of the greatest actresses in Hollywood history endures. Her courage to stand up against the studio system and demand better roles for herself and other actresses changed the landscape of Hollywood, paving the way for future generations to demand and receive the respect and recognition they deserve. The Survivor, Haiti Lamar. Hedy Lamar, born Hedwig Eva Maria Kiesler on November 9, 1914 in Vienna, Austria, was much more than the world's most beautiful woman, as she was often dubbed by the media. Behind her captivating on-screen presence lay a brilliant mind that would contribute significantly to the world of science and technology. Lamar's journey to Hollywood stardom began in Europe, but it was her daring escape from her controlling and arms-dealing first husband, Friedrich Mandel, that marked the first of her many acts of defiance. Fleeing the opulence and restrictions of her life in Austria, Lamar made her way to London, where she caught the eye of MGM head Louis B. Mayer, who offered her a movie contract in Hollywood. In Hollywood, Lamar quickly rose to fame with her exotic looks and talent, starring in films such as Algiers, 1938, and Samson and Delilah, 1949. However, Lamar's interests extended far beyond the silver screen. She was a self-taught inventor, and her most significant contribution to technology was the development of a frequency-hopping spread-spectrum communication system. This invention, co-developed with composer George Antheil, was initially designed to help the Allies disrupt radio-controlled torpedoes during World War II. Although the U.S. Navy did not adopt the technology until later, Lamar's invention laid the groundwork for modern Wi-Fi, GPS, and Bluetooth technologies, showcasing her profound impact beyond the entertainment industry. Despite her contributions, Lamar's inventiveness was largely ignored during her lifetime, and she continued to face challenges in her personal life, including six marriages and a struggle for recognition in her scientific endeavors. Lamar's later years were marked by isolation and legal battles, a stark contrast to her earlier life of glamour. Hedy Lamar passed away on January 19, 2000. Today, she is celebrated not only for her cinematic achievements, but also for her remarkable contributions to technology, a true survivor whose beauty and intelligence broke barriers and defied expectations. The Maverick, Sigourney Weaver Born as Susan Alexandra Weaver on October 8, 1949 in New York City, she emerged as a defining figure in the film industry, particularly in the science fiction and action genres. Her portrayal of Ellen Ripley in Ridley Scott's Alien, 1979, shattered the mold for female characters in these genres, setting a new standard for strength, complexity, and depth. Weaver's journey into acting was fueled by her passion for the craft, honed through her studies at Stanford University and later at the Yale School of Drama. Despite the challenges of breaking into a male-dominated industry, Weaver's breakthrough role in Alien catapulted her to international fame. Ripley was not the typical female character seen in science fiction or horror films of the time. Instead, Weaver infused Ripley with a blend of vulnerability, intelligence, and resilience, creating an iconic character that resonated with audiences worldwide. The success of Alien led to Weaver reprising her role in three sequels, Aliens, 1986, for which she received her first Academy Award nomination for Best Actress, Alien 3 Inches, 1992, and Alien Resurrection, 1997. 
Each film explored different facets of Ripley's character, from her maternal instincts to her unyielding determination to confront the alien threat. Weaver's performances challenged the industry's perceptions of female protagonists, proving that women could lead blockbuster franchises and draw audiences to theaters. Beyond the Alien franchise, Weaver continued to push boundaries with roles in films such as Gorillas in the Mist, 1988, where she portrayed the famed primatologist Deanne Fossey. Her commitment to the role and the physical and emotional challenges it entailed earned her a second Academy Award nomination in the same year, this time for Best Actress. Weaver's versatility was further showcased in her role as a cynical television executive in Working Girl, 1988, earning her a nomination for Best Supporting Actress and highlighting her ability to excel across a range of genres. In recent years, Weaver has continued to take on roles that challenge stereotypes and offer new perspectives on female strength and leadership. Her participation in James Cameron's Avatar 2009 and its upcoming sequels further cements her status as a trailblazer in the industry. The Warrior Pam Greer Pam Greer, born on May 26, 1949, in Winston-Salem, North Carolina, rose to fame in the early 1970s, becoming the first African-American woman to headline action films. Greer's roles in Coffee, 1973, and Foxy Brown, 1974, not only established her as a symbol of the blaxploitation genre, but also as a trailblazing figure who redefined the portrayal of women, particularly women of color, in cinema. Before her rise to stardom, Greer faced numerous challenges. She grew up in a time of racial segregation and prejudice, which shaped her early experiences and instilled in her a sense of resilience. Greer moved to Los Angeles in the late 1960s, where she initially worked as a receptionist at American International Pictures, AIP. Her entry into acting was somewhat serendipitous. She was discovered by director Jack Hill, who cast her in a minor role in his women in prison film, The Big Doll House, 1971. This opportunity marked the beginning of Greer's career in film, leading to more significant roles that capitalized on her unique blend of strength, beauty, and charisma. Greer's portrayal of strong, assertive women in Coffee and Foxy Brown broke new ground by challenging traditional gender roles and stereotypes. Her characters were not just action heroes, they were complex individuals fighting against corruption, drug trafficking, and societal injustices. These roles resonated with audiences, particularly African-American audiences, who had long been starved for representations of powerful women of color in mainstream media. Beyond her iconic roles in the blaxploitation era, Greer's career has spanned several decades, with notable performances in films like Fort Apache, The Bronx, 1981, Above the Law, 1988, and Quentin Tarantino's Jackie Brown, 1997, for which she received a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress. Jackie Brown, in particular, was a critical and commercial success that reintroduced Greer to a new generation of audiences and affirmed her status as a leading actress capable of delivering powerful performances. She has been an advocate for cancer awareness and prevention, drawing from her personal battle with the disease in the early 1980s. Her memoir, Foxy, My Life in Three Acts, published in 2010, offers a candid look at her life, career, and the challenges she has overcome, serving as an inspiration to many. The Rebel, Angelina Jolie. Angelina Jolie, born on June 4, 1975 in Los Angeles, California, is not only recognized for her captivating performances and striking presence on screen, but also for her fearless advocacy and humanitarian work. The daughter of actors John Voigt and Marceline Bertrand, Jolie was exposed to the film industry from an early age, but she carved her own path, becoming one of Hollywood's most formidable and versatile actresses. Jolie's early career was marked by a series of roles that showcased her range and willingness to explore complex characters. Her breakthrough came with the HBO biographical film Gia, 1998, where she played the troubled supermodel Gia Karangi, earning her a Golden Globe for Best Actress. However, it was her role as Lara Croft in Lara Croft Tomb Raider, 2001, that catapulted her to international stardom, establishing Jolie as a leading action star. 
Beyond her action roles, Jolie has delivered critically acclaimed performances in films like Girl Interrupted, 1999, for which she won an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, and Changeling, 2008, earning her a nomination for Best Actress. Her ability to immerse herself in her characters, coupled with her dedication to her craft, has made her one of the most respected actresses of her generation. In addition to her acting and humanitarian work, Jolie has made her mark as a director and producer, focusing on projects that highlight critical international issues and stories. Films like In the Land of Blood and Honey, 2011, Unbroken, 2014, and First They Killed My Father, 2017, reflect her commitment to telling meaningful stories that challenge audiences and bring attention to underrepresented narratives. The Dynamo, Meryl Streep. Born Mary Louise Streep on June 22, 1949 in Summit, New Jersey, Meryl Streep has become synonymous with versatility, excellence, and an unparalleled ability to inhabit her characters fully. With a career spanning over four decades, Streep has earned her place as one of the most esteemed actors in the history of film, known for her profound empathy, meticulous preparation, and a seemingly infinite range of roles. Streep's journey into acting began with her education at Vassar College and the Yale School of Drama, where she honed her craft before making her professional stage debut in Trelawney of the Wells in 1975. Her film debut came shortly after in Julia, 1977, but it was her role in The Deer Hunter, 1978, that earned Streep her first Academy Award nomination, setting the stage for a career marked by critical acclaim and numerous accolades. Over the years, Streep has demonstrated a remarkable ability to transcend genres, mastering comedy, drama, and everything in between. Her portrayal of a woman caught in a bitter custody battle in Kramer vs. Kramer, 1979, won her the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actress, while her role as a Polish Holocaust survivor in Sophie's Choice, 1982, earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress. These performances, among others, have showcased not only Streep's talent, but her commitment to bringing depth and humanity to complex characters. The Powerhouse Viola Davis she was born on August 11, 1965 in St. Matthew, South Carolina, and emerged as one of the most powerful and respected actresses of her generation. Her journey from humble beginnings to Hollywood stardom is a testament to her talent, perseverance, and the depth of her performances. Davis's career is distinguished not only by the critical acclaim she has received, but also by the barriers she has broken for African-American actresses in film, television, and theater. Davis's early life was marked by poverty and challenges, but she found solace and expression in acting. After graduating from Rhode Island College, she attended the prestigious Juilliard School to further hone her craft. Her professional career began on the stage, where she quickly garnered attention for her powerful performances. In 2001, Davis won her first Tony Award for Best Featured Actress in a play for her role in King Hedley II showcasing her formidable talent to a broader audience. However, it was her transition to film and television that brought Davis to international prominence. Her role in Doubt, 2008, earned her an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actress, despite her relatively brief screen time, highlighting her ability to convey complex emotions and leave a lasting impact on audiences. Davis's performance in The Help, 2011, further solidified her status as a leading actress, earning her another Academy Award nomination. Davis's historic win for Best Supporting Actress for her role in Fences 2016 marked a significant milestone in her career and for the Academy Awards. She became the first African-American actress to win an Oscar, Emmy, and Tony for acting, underscoring her versatility and excellence across different mediums. Her Emmy win for her role in How to Get Away with Murder also made her the first African-American woman to win the award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, breaking new ground for representation on television. The Game Changer, Charlize Theron Born on August 7, 1975 in Benoni, South Africa, Charlize Theron has established herself as one of the most versatile and fearless actresses in Hollywood. Her journey from a small farm in South Africa to becoming an Oscar-winning actress is a narrative of transformation. 
marked by bold choices and a relentless pursuit of challenging roles that defy conventional expectations for female characters in cinema. Theron's early career in modeling and dance was abruptly altered due to a knee injury, leading her to pursue acting. Her move to Los Angeles set the stage for a serendipitous discovery by a talent agent, which eventually led to her film debut in Two Days in the Valley, 1996. However, it was her role in Monster, 2003, that proved to be a turning point. Theron underwent a remarkable physical transformation to play serial killer Aileen Warnos, delivering a performance that earned her the Academy Award for Best Actress. This role shattered any preconceived notions about her capabilities as an actress, showcasing her commitment to embodying complex, unglamorous characters. Theron continued to push boundaries with her roles in films like North Country, 2005, where she portrayed a woman fighting against sexual harassment in the workplace, and Mad Max Fury Road, 2015, in which she played the fierce imperator Furiosa. The latter became a cultural phenomenon, redefining the action genre and highlighting Theron's ability to lead a blockbuster film with a strong feminist message. Theron's work as a producer has also been significant, with her production company Denver and Delilah Productions backing projects that offer complex roles for women, including Monster, Young Adult, 2011, and the critically acclaimed series Mindhunter, 2017 to 2019. Her efforts to create more opportunities for women in the industry, both in front of and behind the camera, have made her a game changer in Hollywood. Charlize Theron's career is characterized by her refusal to be typecast and her dedication to tackling roles that challenge stereotypes and expand the portrayal of women on screen. The Trailblazer of Tomorrow, Zendaya Born Zendaya Marie Stormer Coleman on September 1, 1996, in Oakland, California, represents a new generation of Hollywood talent that is not only versatile in their artistic endeavors, but also deeply committed to social activism. Rising to fame with her role on the Disney Channel series Shake It Up, Zendaya has since evolved into a critically acclaimed actress, singer, and fashion icon all while using her platform to advocate for change and inclusivity in the entertainment industry and beyond. Zendaya's breakthrough in film came with her role in Spider-Man Homecoming, 2017, where she played MJ, reimagining the character with a depth and complexity that resonated with audiences worldwide. However, it was her lead role in the HBO series Euphoria, 2019 present, as Rue, a teenager struggling with addiction, that showcased her range as an actress and earned her critical acclaim, including an Emmy Award for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Drama Series, making her the youngest recipient in this category. Zendaya's role in Malcolm and Marie, 2021, further solidified her status as a formidable talent in Hollywood. The film, which she also produced, was notable for its production during the COVID-19 pandemic under strict health guidelines, demonstrating her commitment to pushing creative boundaries while ensuring the safety of cast and crew.